Uh, my name is Trajina Stepanovic and I work for Nebraska Extension in Southwest Nebraska and uh, been working on field peas for the past five years. Field peas uh, were really a minor crop five, six, seven years ago and they started uh, primarily farmers in the Panhandle, Nebraska, Western Nebraska started growing them instead of uh, fallow. So they replaced fallow and then they plant wheat behind it. Farmers have grown them now for five years. Um, based on our data and our evaluation, they have seen improvements in using less fertilizer, less herbicides, less soil erosion, better soil health, uh, better utilization of water. All of the above, uh, they've improved their sustainability of their farms. They've seen benefits of them. Uh, some of them have seen those uh, ponding areas of the field uh, disappear, and now they're farming more acres. <laughs> uh, they're infiltrating the precipitation and they're being more uh, uh, resilient in terms of changing climate. Uh, so all of those things, I think a lot of farmers are gonna see the benefits of it and keep the, um, keep the future of field peas in Nebraska. We have gone far from five years ago where we had about uh, 20,000 acres to about 70,000 acres, from about three seed dealers to about eight or nine, and from virtually no processors to about uh, four or five that are currently buying peas from Nebraska. Now we kind of have this synergism going on between the field peas wanting to grow, uh, farmers wanting to grow the field peas, processors wanting the volume, and farmers giving them the volume and then extension and the university doing the research and educational component and promoting the crop among the farmers and helping them grow. They have a huge market uh, outside United States borders, but the consumption and the education of plant-based protein food has been on the increase in the United States and we hope to have that increase to a point where we're going to have uh, enough maybe to support a large portion of domestic uh, production. My name is Amanda Easterly and I am the uh, Dryland Cropping Systems Research Laboratory Manager at the High Plains Agricultural Lab and I work with uh, students, other researchers at the university and uh, across universities to look at different management strategies for producers in the semi-arid high plains. So in, in the semi-arid high plains, uh, a traditional crop rotation has been wheat fallow and the primary reason for doing so is to conserve moisture in that fallow period to help maintain the, the productivity of the wheat the following year. However, we're seeing that it is possible to replace that fallow period with field peas and this is beneficial for a number of reasons, uh, primarily that you reduce the amount of uh, herbicides that are necessary to maintain weed control. There may or may not actually be a loss of moisture that really hits the wheat, ben wheat yields the following year. And then also, rather than having a fallow year in which you're putting money in, with field peas you do have the potential and often the likelihood of pulling out a profit from that ground rather than having it sit idle. One of the best aspects of this project has been to, to see the future generation of scientists develop both as, as applied uh, agricultural researchers as well as individuals who can interact well with producers and stakeholders and really see how that mutually beneficial interaction between researchers and stakeholders can drive innovation in agriculture. There's, there's additional research um, in a number of areas, um, both from the foundational science and agronomic side of catering which inoculums and other practices you know, really benefit peas, what the uh, ideal cropping system can be in various parts of the climates in which peas are grown, and then also more and more research is needed to develop markets and to look at alternative ways in which we can use these peas so that they really do become an economically feasible option for producers.